Hey everybody, it's John P with Geek Beat TV and we got a special treat for you today because we are at Graceland. All right, so here we are outside of Graceland, Elvis's 17,000 square foot mansion. It was originally built in 1939, but Elvis picked it up in 1957 for $100,000. By the way, Elvis was a huge geek, and we're going to go inside and check out some of his technology. I'm going to show you why. Folks, I'm here with Kevin Kern, who's the director of PR for Graceland. Thanks for joining us today. Well, glad Geek Beat TV is here at Graceland. <laughs> we love it. We wouldn't miss it. I hear Elvis is a huge geek, and you're going to help us understand a little bit more about that. But let's talk about where are we now? This Elvis's living room? Yeah, we're at the King's Castle, Graceland in Memphis, Tennessee. And of course, uh, Elvis was a big recording artist, and he worked for RCA, and they often provided him with the latest and greatest in technology. So this home actually has over 14 televisions in it. Wow. And there were only four television stations on the air in Memphis at the time. This predates cable. So uh, just on the other side over here of the, these peacock panels is one of 14 televisions all from RCA. So this house is very well equipped with technology for the time. Awesome. So RCA was basically Elvis's sponsor. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> he made a lot of money for RCA. So they, they kept him uh, well equipped. I bet he did. Well, that is awesome. We got more TVs and uh, other cool stuff. Let's we go do. check it out. So this is typically where the family would have had dinner. Uh, fa if famous folks came to Grayson, they might have um, enjoyed the living room where we just were and maybe had an impromptu jam session on the piano. But this is the dining room. This is where the Presleys would have sat down to dinner and had fo close family friends. Uh, but one of the really cool features of this room, even though it wa really wasn't necessarily used all that much, is uh, beyond this chair here, there's actually a, a buzzer, uh, almost like a doorbell where you could ring the kitchen. Nice. And uh, But in the South, for the most part, we just yell and, and the kitchen's <laughs> on, on the other side of the door here. So let's go check it out. Yeah, check all it right. out. Elvis's kitchen. Actually, it's quite spacious. Yeah, it is a spacious kitchen. It's a, it's the Space Age kitchen of the 70s. We call it the Samantha Stevens kitchen because it had the latest and greatest and everything, including a microwave, the first microwave in the city of Memphis. Wow. In the kitchen at Elvis Presley's Graceland. Yeah. And it uh, cost over $1,000, purchased through Sears, and made its way to Graceland. There's also a, a very cool security system here that actually Elvis could control from here or even from upstairs in the, in the living quarters. So he had cameras mounted all over the house, um, even back then, and yes. he would uh, just watch them from right here. Always very concerned about security so he was always very involved very cool what's next all right we're gonna go check out the jungle room next oh the jungle room <laughs> Awesome. This is the Jungle Room. The world famous Jungle Room, really known as the Den when the Presleys lived here. Didn't receive the name, nickname the Jungle Room until Graceland opened for tours in 1982. And a travel writer saw the lush green surroundings and nicknamed it the Jungle Room, and that it's so much stuck with popular culture that even the Presley family now calls this the Jungle Room, even though it was just the Den when they lived here. That's awesome. Well, you know, I've heard about it for so long. And it really does look like a jungle room. We've got green carpet, not only on the floor, carpet on the ceiling. Yeah, uh, provided great acoustics unintentionally, but it provided great acoustics, the shag carpet from the 70s. And Elvis was actually able to record a portion of two albums this, in this room. Elvis was tired of going to the studio, so RCA brought the studio to Elvis. So they put uh, moving blankets over the windows, but rolled in all of the equipment and took out some of the furniture, moved it around, and this became a recording studio. So Elvis recorded a portion of his last two albums in this room, which is very cool. And it's that, good to be the king. Yes, and that waterfall over there in the corner, Works better today than it ever did when Elvis lived here. So it was traditionally actually covered up with one of those big concave screens of, of a projector television from back in the day with those red, blue, and green projector tubes. One of the first ever projection TV. Exactly. Elvis had it, of course, made by RCA and sat in front of that fountain because it didn't work all that well back then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is so awesome. Okay, what's next? Next stop is an exhibit area where we'll actually show you one of Elvis's big phones. Sweet. Well, here we are. We've got a bunch of Elvis's awesome outfits. He was really a showman. He truly was. I mean, there's a reason why they call him the king. And uh, Elvis was really uh, not only a music uh, revolutionary, but also a fashion icon as well. And um, definitely always different and uh, reinventing himself and, and the performance. I've got to get me one of those right there. I love it. Well, we'll sell you one. <laughs> <laughs> Great. What else do we got in here? 
uh, one of the really coolest things uh, that, that your audience is going to be interested in is Elvis's mobile phone. Um, Wait a minute. Elvis had a mobile phone? He did. Uh, using military technology, th there was the capability to ha make phone calls mobile, uh, and there was the, a suitcase-style phone that we have here in this exhibit. Where is it? Where it's is right, it? It's right behind you. And so this is uh, a mobile telephone, and Elvis was able to make phone calls from this, and Elvis had an uh, entourage known as the Memphis Mafia, and it was one member of the Memphis Mafia's sole responsibility to carry this phone around. So Elvis was always be able to stay in touch with his manager and the family. That is awesome. Elvis just had somebody carrying a mobile phone everywhere exactly. he went. Very, very cool. Well, that's it for our tour of Graceland. It was awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed the behind the scenes tour here. And thanks to Kevin for showing us around. Who would have ever thought Elvis was the original geek? Dang, it's good to be the king. All right, we'll see you guys later. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash geekbeat TV. Bye now. Elvis, I love you.